All right, this video discusses angles. There's uh, going to be quite a bit of uh, terminology, uh, and but we need to be able to speak the terminology. So uh, let's uh, let's get started. All right, so we've got lines. So for example, this first one up here, we'd say that was line AB. If we just took these two points and said there's a line that goes through them, we'd call it line AB. But it goes off forever in both directions there. Whereas a line segment AB just goes from this point A to this point B, and it's just that segment. Whereas a ray, where you, uh, you start at some place and then you go off forever uh, in a direction. All right, so now we're going to talk about measuring angles. All right, so um, you've got a ray going off this direction and a ray going off this direction, and there's some angle in between them. All right, to do that, we want to make note of some terminology. Uh, where they meet, we're, we're just calling A for the moment, uh, and that's, but where they meet is actually called the vertex. Um, this green arrow says that we're measuring the angle in this direction. Okay, so we start here and we're going up we're going up here. When we do that, this side right here that we start with, that's called the initial side. And then the side that we go to over here, that's called the terminal side. Okay. If the rotation is counterclockwise, like we're doing here with the green, then the angle is positive. Same idea down here. If we start here, if we do the red. If we start here, we go counterclockwise to measure this way, that's an angle. Right, and that angle would be positive. Whereas if we we measure the angle clockwise, so say we start here and we come down this way, and this is theta. We're saying theta is the angle. This right here would say because we're measuring in a clockwise fashion, the angle theta in this case would be negative. Right, so measuring counterclockwise, you get positive angles. Measuring clockwise, you get negative angles. Some more terminology. An acute angle is an angle that's between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. An obtuse angle is an angle that's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. A right angle, as you all know, measures exactly 90 degrees. A straight angle measures exactly 180 degrees. Then if you take two positive angles and they add up to 90 degrees, they're called comp complementary angles. And if you take two positive angles that add up to 180 degrees, they are called supplementary angles. All right, make another note. An angle is in standard position if its vertex is at the origin, you know, on the xy plane, put the vertex at the origin, and its initial side is along the positive x-axis. So we would look something, say, like this, all right? And then we would measure this angle. That's going to be an angle that's in standard position. Okay, we could just as easily say, well, let's do, let's do this one over here. Okay, and then we would be measuring that angle. Follow me. All right, a couple more notes. Quadrantal angles are angles where the terminal side is on the x-axis or the y-axis. So that's going to be like, what, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. If your terminal side ends on the x-axis or the y-axis, they just have this fancy name called quadrantal angles. More importantly, angles that have the same initial side and terminal side are called coterminal angles. Well, how can that happen? Well, let's take this example right here. If we measure this way, that's one angle, right? But if we measure this way, you have the same initial side and you have the same terminal side, but you don't have the same angle. Remember, the blue angle here is positive, the red angle is negative. They're different angles, but they're called coterminal angles because they have the same initial side and the same terminal side, okay? Same idea over here. Here would be the positive angle, and here would be the negative angle. And those two angles are coterminal angles because they have the same initial side and the same terminal side. All right, so one other thing I want to talk about is what's called portions of degrees. And they are measured with minutes and seconds. For example, one minute is equal to one sixtieth of a degree, right? This is the notation for minute. Whereas one second, that's the notation for one second, is equal to one over thirty-six hundredth of a degree, right? So we're going to see things like uh, thirty-four degrees, fifty-one minutes, 
35 seconds. Taking something down to minutes and seconds just gets you um, a, a more accurate angle. Now, that's, that can be cumbersome to deal with, though. So one thing we can do is change these, convert these, I should say. We can convert these. This is called degrees, minutes, and seconds notation. We can convert that into decimal notation. One way to do it is to deal with these two things that we have up here, where, where the, the two conversions of what, what one minute is and what one second is in terms of degrees. But we really don't do much of that anymore. Right? We can actually use our calculator to figure that out. So going over here to the calculator, we're going to put in 34 degrees, 51 minutes, and 35 seconds. And how you do that is, so we start by doing 34, and then to get the degrees, you have to go to this angle function, which is above the apps button. So second angle, and that very first spot there is degrees. So hit enter. So there's 34 degrees. Then 51. We need to put in minutes. So again, we're going to go back to the angle menu. And that second one there is minutes. So minutes. And then we want to put in 35 seconds. Now the seconds is not lo located under the angle menu. The seconds is actually located right here above the plus sign. It's in green. So you have to hit the alpha button and then the plus sign in order to get the second symbol. So there's 34 degrees, 51 minutes, and 35 seconds. And then you hit enter. And so that is equal to 34.85 nine seven degrees. And a lot of times it's going to be easier to deal with it in terms of uh, decimal notation as opposed to degrees, minutes, and seconds uh, when we're needing to do our calculations and whatnot. Okay? So another thing that we can do, if we're in degree decimal notation, we can convert back to degrees, minutes, and seconds notation and the calculator will do that as well. So let's try this one. Try 102.377 seven seven one degrees <clears throat> so to convert 102.3771 degrees you put in 102.3771 then under the angle menu you scroll down here to number four don't put the degree symbol in just scroll down to number four and what it's going to do is going to take this number and convert it into degrees minutes and seconds and when you do that you get 102 degrees, 22 minutes, and about 38 seconds. That's close enough. All right? So that's it's really 37.56 seconds. <clears throat> so that's, uh, that's how we're going to use the calculator to convert between degrees, minutes, and seconds, and decimal degrees. All right, so that's it. Make sure you see the next video on radian measure. Study well, and please let me know if you have any questions.